So Asus have just dropped a huge update for the ROG Ally in the form of 1.4.5 of Armory Crate. So let's unpack exactly what's in this massive update including more real-time monitor layouts, CPU boost to aid battery life and the big one in us finally now having gyro controls. So let's dive straight in and let's head into Armory Crate, then into Content, then Update Center, click check for updates and this brand new update should appear right here. Let's click update now and it will take about 5 minutes to install and after a restart, let's head back into update center within Armory Crate and we should now be on this brand new 1.4.5. So let's start with a battery icon and slow charging tooltips in Command Center. This is a really neat feature as if we head into Command Center and click on it, it now gives us info like this current anchor I'm using may result in insufficient power, so for best results use the included ROG adapter. Super useful. Next is another really welcome one in more real-time monitor layouts. So when we click on the real-time monitor icon within Command Center, the first is a new layout called Minimal that has just the time, battery and FPS. The second is another new layout called Row and this has the time, CPU, GPU, battery and FPS. And the third one is the old one we're all used to, now called Square. I think for many of us like seeing this kind of info, it will be the row one that will be the most useful as we can really enjoy our games while it being discreetly tucked away at the top or bottom of our screens. Next is that captured images and videos can now be shared to Discord and TikTok. So if you head to content, then media gallery, then select a screenshot, we can now share to Discord or if it is a video then to TikTok. A new feature is advanced graphics options now being in the GPU operating mode area in settings. So let's head into settings, then operating mode, then GPU settings and we now have all these great advanced options all in one place such as Radeon Super Resolution, Radeon Anti-Lag, Radeon Boost, Radeon Chill and finally Radeon Image Sharpening. This is brilliant as now we don't have to open up the separate AMD Radeon app. Another new feature is keyboard shortcut customization for opening Armory Crate and Command Center in the settings page. So let's head into settings and there is now this brand new keyboard shortcuts button and when we click on this we can now set our own shortcuts for use within the external keyboard to open Armory Crate and Command Center. This next new feature is really welcome and it's an option to toggle CPU boost on or off in the Eco Assist settings. Let's head into settings and in edit command center let's select an empty slot and let's add in this brand new CPU boost right here. So now when we're playing less demanding games like the excellent Eastwood right here then we can go into command center, hit the CPU boost icon to turn it off and we should now get some extra battery life which is so good. By the way, if you're finding this helpful, then be sure to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel so you don't miss out on any of these great breaking news update videos for the Ally. You guys are awesome. So just three to go now, and the next new feature is a feedback hub added to Help Center. So if we go to Content, then Help Center, and this new feedback hub, we can now contact ASUS using this form and tell them exactly what new features we want to see. This is so great as it shows ASUS really are trying hard to take all the feedback from our ally community on board. So again, massive props to ASUS for this. For the final two features, we do need to be on the latest MCU 316, so let's head into content, then update center, and here is the new 316 that we need to install. So let's hit update all, the firmware update tool message will pop up, and this will take about 10 minutes to install. It will then ask you to restart, and when we check back in update center, it should state that our device is up to date, and we are indeed on MCU firmware version 316. So do make sure you check this otherwise these final two features will not work. Okay so the first is a response curve to stick adjustments in game profiles and control mode has now been added. 
So as we know, if you want this applied across all of our games, then head to settings, then press configure in control mode, then configure in gamepad mode, select one of the sticks, and we can now increase or decrease the response curve right here on this graph. And if we just want it on a specific game, press X on that game, in this case Forza 5, select the stick, and any adjustments made here will be just in this particular game. And finally, and this is the biggie, is gyro control and calibration settings are now here. Yes! Let's calibrate it so we'll head into settings, click this new calibration button, head over to the right where gyro is, lay our alley on a flat surface, press A to calibrate, then click done. Now let's configure it to a game. In my case, Tears of the Kingdom in Yuzu Early Access. So let's click gyro and mouse and right are great for shooting or aiming games and left stick is best for racing games. I'll select right stick, you can fine tune in here and in gyro enable button, you can have always on, but I'm going to use it only with the left trigger. Exit out and launch your game. And when we're in our game, it's very important that we must change the control mode to auto for gyro to work. And we now have gyro, which is just so awesome. And this will make shooters and aiming like here in Tears of the Kingdom especially fun to play. And let's try configuring in a racing game, which in this case is Forza 5. So go to gyro and in gyro behavior, let's now select left stick. In the gyro enable button, let's change to right trigger, which is our acceleration button, exit out and launch the game. And we can now control our car using gyro if we want to, yes! Wow, so yet another fantastic and huge update from ASUS and they've really shown their commitment to supporting the Ally over these first six months, which is so awesome to see. Great job ASUS. So you in the 26% who voted on today's poll that you cannot wait to try out the gyro. And what do you think of this brand new 1.4.5 Armory Crate update? Let us know in the comments. And as a little extra bonus for watching right to the end of the video, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Overthinking is the biggest cause of unhappiness. It's so easy for our mind to get anxious or to worry about tomorrow, but let's really enjoy the moment as each day will take care of itself. So stay encouraged today, guys. And check this video out if you want to know how to cloud stream your PS Plus games to your Ally or Windows device. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.